Hey y'all, it's Troy Mead for Home Health Recharge, and today we have a special episode from our friends at the Academy of Geriatric Physical Therapy about navigating the combined sections meeting. This is some great information because CSM is right around the corner and coming up this month. Many of us from the Senior Rehab Project will be there, so if you're there, stop by and say hello. So without any further ado, let's get to Katie Walward and Sarah Ross. Hi everyone, my name is Katie Walworth. And I'm Sarah Ross. And we are the programming co-chairs for the Academy of Geriatric Physical Therapy. So CSM is right around the corner. It will be in Washington, D.C. on January 21st through the 24th. And we are getting super excited about all of our programming that we have going on. But you know what I've been thinking about, Sarah? Tell me. Do you remember the first time you went to CSM and how overwhelming it could be with everything? I do, actually. It was probably eight or nine years ago, and it was incredibly overwhelming. So we thought maybe it would be a good idea to share some tips and tricks for first-time CSMers. Yeah, and you know what? Even if it's not your first time, I think some of these things that we were kind of bouncing back and forth and talking about could be really useful um, just to kind of refresh and maybe take a new look on, on CSM and how you go about. All right, that's great. So probably the first thing people wanna think about is making a plan ahead of time. A lot of us register so far in advance that you kind of forget what all is going on by the time it actually gets to CSM. So you wanna make sure that you check the website, look at all the different programming offered by the 18 different sections, and then use the app to create a schedule. The app is also really great so that you can check in at CSM and make sure that there haven't been any last minute room changes or if a session that you're looking to go to gets closed out, you'll know about it before you get there. So maybe you can get to your second choice. Yeah, the app is really helpful. It is updated in real time. So any of those changes that happen at a moment's notice, the staff at APTA are really good about getting that updated. So you've got absolute last minute changes right there in front of you. It's really nice. The other thing you might wanna consider is when you go through and you schedule everything in the app, make sure that you have backup sessions because your first choice might get closed out or it might not be exactly what you were expecting it to be and you wanna be able to go to your next one quickly so that you don't miss anything. Yeah, absolutely. I always had a hard time choosing what I wanted to do and so naturally kind of picked a couple backup ones in case, and you never know, you may wake up that morning and go, mm, I don't feel like that one and end up going with your number two or number three. So it's, it's kind of a good plan to have. Exactly. And last of all, as you're making your plan, you want to make sure that you map out your route. We're in three different buildings this year, and you want to make sure you know where you're going and that you leave enough time to get yourself there so you don't miss out on any of the first part of the courses. Yeah, absolutely. It's nice that we have an hour in between our sessions. Um, so that certainly gives you time to refill your water bottle and hit the bathroom. But as we know, a lot of these sessions fill up very quickly. So getting there 20, 30 minutes before the session starts, if you want to get a halfway decent seat, isn't really a bad idea. Mm -hmm. right. Sarah, do you maybe want to share a little bit about the exhibit hall? Yeah, for me, I loved the exhibit hall, but man, I still find the exhibit hall overwhelming. There are so many things and vendors and people and networking. Um, finding a strategic way to go about handling it is really helpful. So that one, you don't end up feeling overwhelmed and two, you don't end up missing something. Um, so there's a couple different ways you could go about it and a couple different ways I usually think about it. I always try to take a quick glance through the app and see what vendors are there. Um, I know in the past I've had been working at facilities that maybe are talking about getting some equipment and I want to seek out vendors that I think might be there so I could take a quick peek. But also then making sure I've got strategy as far as maybe not trying to do it all in one unopposed session time, um, but splitting it up, hitting a few rows or, you know, taking one break to be able to go up and down the APTA way and checking out all of the sessions, um, all the different sections that have their booths there um, and being able to find out what's going on for their members and consider what's happening and not to mention um, visiting the geriatric section booth. So we wanna make sure that we spend our time wisely 
um, to be able to see everything that's going on there. And it's, it's really good to remember there are multiple times that the um, exhibit hall is open. So it does open every day, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, um, but we've got a little bit longer hours that run on Friday, and it does wrap up at four, Thursday and Friday, and only goes till three on Saturday. But we've got some unopposed time when we don't have sessions going on, so it's open 10 to 11, and then from one to three, where we don't have any sort of educational sessions going on. So we know we can go then, but also know it's open to everybody then and everybody's out of session. So that is usually when it's its busiest. Absolutely. All right. So maybe we should talk a little bit about the different things that the Academy of Geriatrics is offering this year. So yeah, we go right ahead. I think it's a great idea. <laughs> We do have three pre-con sessions that we're excited to bring to everybody this year. Our first pre-con is a two-day course. It'll take place on Tuesday and Wednesday, and it is the Tai Chi Fundamentals course taught by Christy Hallisey. This is always a well-attended course. It's awesome. <laughs> we also have um, two one-day courses that'll take place on Wednesday. The first one is Kyphosis Management with Manual and exercise interventions and that one will be taught by Carlene Lindsay and then our third course is applying a comprehensive approach to successful aging and this course is going to be brought to us by a whole panel of experienced and distinguished clinicians that really know their stuff in geriatrics so um, registration is open right now for the pre-cons it remains open all the way through January so take advantage of these sessions yeah, it's not too late to register, even though it is just right around the corner. We'd love to have anybody who wants to hone in on some of these niche topics. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So I know when I first went to CSM, one of the things I didn't do well was network. Um, I was new at it, I was overwhelmed, it was my first time there, I was there alone, I didn't know anybody. Um, so I would really encourage folks to connect with different um, section or academy activities that are going on. Um, and the geriatric group has several. And one that I would really want to highlight is our members meeting on Thursday night. This is a great time where we can get together, discuss the business that's going on in the academy, as well as mingle and network with each other. Of course, yes, there will be food and there will be a cash bar. And so we will enjoy our time together, um, but it's a great time to be able to network, hear what's happening. Um, if you're new to the Academy, being able to meet the leadership and the folks that are involved, talk about some possible opportunities to volunteer and start to take a more active role. There are always areas that people can help and contribute to the Academy. Um, in fact, serving on our committee to help and work with CSM programming is just one of the many ways. So we'll both be there. So by all means, if you're interested in plugging in, helping us select the sessions is one of the ways that you can help um, help the Academy every year. Absolutely. And as long as we're kind of along those lines, the other exciting thing that we're bringing is the annual GCS recognition breakfast. Um, maybe you can throw out some information about that one, Sarah? Sure. Um, we're really excited because actually we're doing something a little different this year. Um, we are combining our GCS breakfast um, and following right after that, we're going to have our Academy Awards. So we're going to have an opportunity to recognize some of our fellow co-workers, clinicians, academicians for the outstanding work that they've been doing this last year in the world of geriatric physical therapy. So we have got our breakfast, which is starting at 6.30, and we'll be recognizing all the new specialists there for our geriatric group. And then at 7.30, we'll be starting with the awards portion. And then we have a special new event happening right after the awards, and we have a distinguished lecture. We'll have Carol, Carol Lewis joining us um, and speaking to all of us and really encouraging us as we venture forward in the next year and years to come, um, really honing our skills and the important nature um, of geriatric physical therapy. It should be really exciting. We're looking forward to that one this year. Well, we are. Um, probably one more thing to highlight, we have our platform sessions as well. 
Um, the platform sessions will take place on Thursday from 11 to 1 and Friday from 8 to 10, and they'll be in the platform area of the main convention center. These are unique sessions where clinicians can present new and upcoming research on different topics that pertain to the geriatric patient population. So you can stop by and support them in their research efforts. Yeah. So there's so much going on and we really hope that you have a chance to kind of put your plan together and make the most out of CSM. It's a great time, not only for education sessions, but for networking. And let's just be honest, it's good to get together with fellow PTs and have a good time. Yeah, so thanks for being a part of this today and we hope to see you in Washington, DC.